I'm Anna Cat, and today I'm going to be showing you a 5 mask horrific vision of Stormwind full clear run. First we're going to start out by buying a vial from Ravian, and over here at Mother's Console you can see that, like last week, I have all research upgraded. Unlike last week, I'm running Vision of Perfection as my major rather than Purification Protocol. I'm also running 10 more Corruption than I was last week because I got a new staff that gives me the Expedience Corruption. And the talents remain the same as last week too. Force of Nature, Incarn, Twin Moons, and Shooting Stars. So to start off like last week, make sure you get your masks first. So get the Pain, get the Burned Bridge, get the Long Night, which makes this the hardest, Illyria Windrunner forces get the Daredevil, to submit to the old God, or be and finally get Dark Imagination. We're going to be eating Goulash like last week as well for the 2% health uh, regen every second. I did a run before this, so my weak aura already shows some potions and poisons, but I don't think it reflects it in this vision. And we're also going to be using the Thunderforged Augment Room to give us a little more intellect. So, with Stormwind I start off in stealth, and I immediately book it as far right as possible so I don't pull anything. So I see the potion, it's red, I don't want to get any red, and thankfully Desynchronize was on my side this time so I got a speed boost at the start. Now since Stormwind absolutely sucks this week, we're skipping as much as we can. Even so, I decide not to pull those, I shadow mill to get out of that combat and just keep going. So we're going to start and take care of these gnomes, and go into the dwarf district. I could probably use my treants later to better effect, but I just hate having to deal with those guys, and they always proc my gift of the titans. Now I don't know why my weak aura never seems to show the correct time left before I run out of sanity, but at this point I've just gotten used to it. So this week, for the, like, the first areas, we have Scorched Feet and the Phobia. Which sucks because the fire doesn't get rid of the bugs. You have to manually jump to get rid of them because the fire will not get rid of them. So kill these laborers, then work on the next group. Making sure to constantly jump so the bugs don't get you here. I forget that bomb there, so it's going to cost me a few seconds of time later on. Here I pop my trance and I disengage, and just sort of nuke all these guys down. I'm trying to save my Gift of the Titans for the, the rare dwarf in the area. There's a poison under the gallows, so I don't go for that, and I typhoon those laborers away. Grab the bomb, immediately jump the hell out of there using the fire. Get this bomb. Now my Gift of the Titans is about to come up, but I don't want to risk pulling the stuff behind him. So I'm going to pull this Faceless Willbreaker over here, along with the Fallen Hearts and Piercers. I think, yeah, I also get that Enthralled Laborer in there too. Gift of the Titans, so I'm going to pull the Dwarf. I use my Incarn on him. I honestly shouldn't. I should save it for the Dwarf but it doesn't end up biting me in the ass, so I guess it was sort of worth it. Because there were extra adds there, I didn't focus fire him as much as I really wanted to. He normally dies a little faster than that. So right there, I saw that the fifth bug appeared on my screen and I needed to jump soon or I was going to be forced to run because of the sphere. I popped the treance there just to keep everybody's attention while I get the bomb, and I nip them down from the distance. Then I pull all these guys over to me. In a few seconds I'm going to realize that I did the bombs out of order, and for a moment I'm completely lost as to which bomb I didn't actually get, even though it's right there on the map for me. So it's like, oh, six bombs, wait, where are the others? Oh, they're all the way back here. I even, like, don't look at my map and I look over by the bank thinking that they're over there for some reason. 
There was a sanity potion over by the bank, or by the auction house there, that I could have taken. But I'm, I'm going to end up about 200 sanity low when I kill this guy, so there's kind of no reason to get it. I could if I wanted to be safe, though. If this is your first 5 mask attempt, always be safe. So the dwarf is going to be engaged. I used my obsidian wand trinket to help get his health down a little low, and I trance him because that way his forge breath has a likelier chance to aim the other way, which it does. Jump, get rid of the bugs, and just keep focus firing him down. The trance are over. The bombs just don't want to cooperate with me today. So I gained 158 sanity from him, so if I had taken the potion, it only would have given me like 50 or 60. We're gonna come this way and we're gonna pull all the rats. Because I just find this way a little bit faster than the other way. It probably isn't, but habits are hard to break. So, kill all the rats, and we're going to enter this new area. Now this is what makes Stormwind absolutely suck this week. Split Personality and Haunting Shadows. So you can get stuck in the Split Personality and then the Haunting Shadows can come for you and you won't have a way out. So right here I kill these hunters and thankfully I have a tiny little sliver to get out of. I'm gonna trance the Arms Master so that way she's over there. Because her Blade Flourish, if it comes up at the time that the Split Personalities and the Haunting Shadows, just makes for a terrible, terrible combination. So here I think I'm out of her Roaring Blast, but I'm not because cones are hard to predict because I'm dumb. And I am absolutely stuck in there, I get disoriented, this is why Stormwind sucks this week. Thankfully, killing her gets me some sanity, and even though I'm only about 50 less, I'm gonna grab this sanity potion to top me off. The informants are in Stormwind, which will do the Touch of the Abyss, which is the thing that you definitely want to interrupt because it'll stun you for 5 seconds. And that it was pretty much take the slam or get disoriented, I take a chunk of health damage, I don't interrupt the touch of the abyss, and I just start bleeding out. I used a health potion though to try and top me off, I typhoon them back to get them out of the way, and there's another haunting shadows underneath my split personality, this run sucks. But since I'm posting it, you know I succeed! Succeed! Yeah, that's a word. So, yeah. In the end, it all works out. I'm gonna get another split here in a second. Thankfully there's a way out, but I fuck it up, because of course I do. And that pulls me into a light hunter, and there's also a haunting shadows that happens, and I get corruption slow. Whoopee! But there's mysterious blue liquid, which is my sanity this run, so I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna focus down the informant. And then they pull me through, which disorients me because of the split personality. And I start taking sanity damage because I'm in my blue shit, and gotta get out because there's spawning shadows. And if I'm calling those in reverse order, that the split personality is the other one, I sincerely apologize. I hate this fix too much to really focus on it. Now I'm pretty much stuck in a corner right there, so I just don't bother moving. And because I'm a balanced druid, I can focus the informant at a distance. So here I have my corruption eyeball. I'm just taking damage. I try to cleanse myself, but they keep reapplying their poisons. Thankfully, yes. With that kill, I get gifted the titans. I clearly finish off the shadow blade, and I do my best to focus down the infested faces. So I try to get some distance, thankfully the way out is right there if I should choose to move, which I do, because he's just lurking the appendage, which would really suck if I was silenced in my personality circle. I get about 147 sanity from him, which is not 200, but it's still better than nothing at this point. Up ahead here in a moment I'm going to fuck up, I'm going to use my solar beam on the wrong ad, and I think I'm going to get, uh, stunned? Yep, I do. I actually failed a 5 mask before this one, which I'll talk about a little bit more in the Mage District when we get there. I swift men to top myself off, I realize that split personality is coming, and it just blocks me off from the damn key. I 
probably could have used the one on the right, but I'm going to use an orb on Matthias this week, so it's not really a big deal if I lose any seconds. So I'm going to get to about here and drop my orb. I'm actually going to pre-pod here, because I just hate Matthias that much. And kiting him a little bit so that the eye is the back of me, I start work on him, and of course he vanishes. I haven't figured out really the optimal way to do this, but this is kind of what I've figured out. Just shimmy him, him around and then focus fire him down. Eyeball here is probably going to start getting me in a moment. Yeah, they're all following me. At this point, I'm just spamming dots on him and waiting for him to tick out because he had my Psyche Shredder and he had my dots ticking on him. I get disoriented, but it's not a big deal because I have my gift to the Titan's Prophet the mold. You do the same. Watch your back. And using the rest of the gift of the Titans, I'm going to focus on the Fallen Rift Walkers, so that way when I come back to the Cathedral District, I can just immediately go to Alira. I normally choose to move out of the way of those Shadow Rifts and interrupt it, because I don't like using my solar beam if I don't have to. Because even though I've done these visions a bunch of times, yeah, I always worry I'm gonna mess up. These guys sometimes detect me, sometimes they don't. When I did this and I had fast desynchronization there, I actually got caught, and I don't know why. And this time I didn't, so I'm not gonna argue it. I will never forsake the light. So we're gonna go Foolish left here. Paladin, the light. I'm gonna focus the appendage and the shadow collar. Now with these guys, my gift of the titans usually comes up by the time I kill them. And here with the burrowing appendage, I'm gonna stay a little bit close to it. That way it doesn't burrow away, and I have more time to focus it down. The problem is if you step on top of it, you're gonna drop a sand flow. So right there, gift of the titans happens. I'm gonna pull all these guys, and I'm going to get Inquisitor Dark Brutal smash. Because I have Gift of the Titans up, I'm not going to worry about interrupting this agonizing torment for the first cast. And I also use my Treants, so that way the Slave Drivers and the Tormentors back there are occupied. There, I did use my Solar Beam, because my Gift of the Titans was about to run out. And, of course, he just casts it again, so I'm going to take some Sanity Damage. But, thankfully, he dies, and I'm able to finish off the rest of the cast. Brutal Smash. Okay, so I have about 40 seconds left on that. I'm gonna try and kill some ants so that way I can get Gift of the Titans to happen when I fight, uh, fight the big elite. Mainly right here, I'm just killing time. I got caught out by the fire there. There's a black potion off to the side that Little I don't smash. need. So 10 seconds left, I should get Gift of the Titans, I'm thinking. But I think this might be the run where it just doesn't play nice with me. No, nope. I get it. So, Gift of the Titans, Incarn, all the dots, more dots. He's gonna do Chains of Servitude. At the last second I drop my Treants and I run. And between the dots and the trance, his health just tanks. I do one more attack, and he's gone. And so begins the cleanup process of getting all those. I got stuck in a cart. Because I'm trying to just get the hell out of this vision as soon as possible, because I hate this week's affixes, I don't worry about picking up any crates. Double check that potion, it was black. I only want the blues. I try to do the same trick as I did with the other burrowing appendage to get up in melee so it won't burrow away, but there's just too many sanity puddles to make that a viable strat. I'm gonna use my fire to push me over here. I'm gonna get this cage. I'm gonna get this cage. Then I'm gonna run down and get the shadow collar and I'll 
Brutal smash. Like if the Titans happens, I look over and I see that the bank is open. So Brutal with my smash. gift to the Titans, I probably could have gone in and killed the Forgotten Guild Bank. But I decide not to. I'm also running there because I didn't jump and the bugs were forcing me to run. There's a sanity potion there, and I figure I'd take that rather than eat a kebab out in the canals. Even though I can, I don't use a solar beam on this guy because he's just straight damage, not sanity damage. Get rid of the tumors that I got in combat with. Now what I like to do is I like to go up the right path. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get up there as soon as possible and to have my Gift of the Titans up when I'm near that center area. But of course, the split personality is just not having that right now, which is a little unfortunate. So what failed me in this 5 mask run earlier is I was up in that center area and the Void Lords with the minions that do the mind flay got me caught out, I got stuck, I think, yeah, I got disoriented at a later part, and I just chunked for like 60 sanity at a time. I procced my cheat death, and I still couldn't get out of it, and I died. So right here I got Gift of the Titans, I am immediately going to pull the Boundless Corruption and do as much damage to him as I can. On other weeks this is more favorable because you have more room to run and you don't get disoriented like that, which sucks. But thankfully, with Gift of the Titans and having all my dots on him, he's able to tick out while I'm disoriented and it only takes another attack or two to finish him off. On other weeks, where you don't have these more limiting affixes, you can just kite him all the way down. And it's a lot more beneficial because when he does his big laser attack, you can easily just go around a wall and you'll be fine. So I'm gonna pull these Portal Masters and these Globules over here. There's not really a range to them, to my knowledge, so you can pull them from their portals, so you don't have to exactly fight them in that area. We get split here in a sec, and I have the madness, so I quickly run out of that. So I decide to have Kebab here just as like a failsafe, because I'm about 100 sanity low from my maximum. <laughs> And I'm going to pull the Portal Master in the Void Elemental. There, I didn't notice the Haunting Shadows, which put me into the split personality. I nearly die here, but thankfully I'm able to health pot and get out of there. I disengage and I go back to focus. I also Typhoon them away, and I get Gift of the Titans. Now here's what's also doomed me in the last run. I got cocky with my Gift of the Titans. Last run, I was like, oh, I have Gift of the Titans. I can also pull these Void Elementals and these Keepers without killing those other adds, and that's bad. So I focus the Portal Keepers here, and I focus down the Void Speaker. That Psychic Scream is just another layer of fear I don't want to deal with on this affix this week. Do yourself a favor. If you're doing a 5 mask horrific vision of Stormwind, don't do it on a week when it's these affixes, please. In Orgrimmar, it's not too bad, because you have a lot of extra space in the harder areas, but Stormwind just sucks. So here, I forgot I pulled these portals, or this guy, and I'm just wasting time here, so I have to go around again. There was an odd crystal in that last building, but this run we're just doing it for completion, we're not doing it for mementos. Sometimes the split personalities can go up like that, and sometimes it's just a fucking crapshoot whether or not they fear you or not if you go under them. I check my kebab there because I'm actually getting a little bit low. And I decide instead of going for the other portal keeper, do I go for this guy first? No, because of the split personality I decide to take out the left guys first. And because of that I will get a Dark Delusions ad once these guys are finished because I'm going to drop below 50% sanity. So, I get both split personality and haunting shadows and my corruption eyeball, 
a cloak out of it. The little purple is the horrific fragment from the Dark Illusions. They're honestly not that hard to deal with and kill it. And he actually procked my gift with the Titans, so I'm going to burn down Sardeth as quick as I can. What sucks with split personality and haunting shadows this week is the Reign of Fire, because if it catches you in a very inopportune moment, you're going to take a lot of health damage. So kill the Black Claw, finish off the rest of the little Void adds, and we're going to go up to the Tower to open it. I notice I'm about to get split personality, so I don't go in the building just yet. And then so I don't get caught out by any more little monsters, I go with the stealth, and I start heading up the tower. This is another reason split personality is absolutely horrible in Stormwind. Here in a few moments I believe I'm going to get it. And... Hey! I can't move! So I just have to sit here and let my sanity tick out while I'm waiting to be able to go somewhere. So I'm not going to enter the room because I don't want to risk pulling him. So I drop an orb, and then I engage him. Because I'm in the sanity orb, I just eat the entropic missiles because I need to save my solar beam later on. I don't need to worry about polymorph because I'm a druid. And speaking of druids, I can just drop my trance and it immediately stops his cast. At this point, just basic rotation, finishing him off. Frozen Storm. Now, speaking of storms, a perfect storm of just bad happens here. So, I get the split personality, I get the haunting shadows, I think I can move out in time, but my corruption slows me, I get disoriented, and I'm just ticking for sanity damage. And then he entropic misses me. It's not enough to kill me, because I have a rank 15 cloak, and I have 85% reduction on his sanity loss, but it still hurts a lot. And split personality prevents me from getting out. I may have been able to move to the portal if I was quick enough, but I wasn't. So we're just waiting. Which sucks. Now here, I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a moment. I'm waiting for my Forbidden Obsidian Claw to come off cooldown, because that is a decent chunk of sanity- or not sanity, but health damage that I can perform to Alira. I debate going to get that chest, I debate going to get that chest, Looking what else around here I can kill, that one store over there is open, which I believe is one of those 10% mini-boss ads, but I've never engaged him yet so far. So I just decided to say screw it, my claw is going to come up and cool down by the time I engage, so I go inside. I get up nice and close, I pop my orb, I pop my pre-pot, I pop my drums, I pop my incarn, and I pop my trinket. I move up a little so that the dark gaze doesn't get me. I pop my tree as well, my move. Eh, I'm taking some sanity damage here, but as long as I just don't mess up later on in the fight, it's fine. The polymorph doesn't affect me because you're. The chains of servitude is a little bit annoying, but if you just line yourself up on a pillar, it doesn't. I tried to kick that bomb away, but it was just out of my reach. For some reason, the Dark Lair was hitting me. I thought he was a little bit over, but that's fine. She's already down to 10%. This is going to be a successful run, thankfully. So throughout that fight, I lost about 114 sanity. I lost a little bit more at the start, but yeah, that's it. So, there's no shame in using all your orbs in a run. That's what it's there for. That's also what the cheat death is there for. So, you get mementos. If you're lucky, you get the the Void Edge illusion, which I think looks really nice. And of course, for completing a 5 mass, you get a piece of 470 Corrupted Gear. And I get one with Twisted Appendage 1 on it. So, thank you for watching my 5 mask Horrific Vision of Stormwind. You can find me over at Twitter at, at Shadowstone. Or on Twitch at Shadowstone Pwn, where I post on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Thank you for watching.